My name is Christopher Hall, and I'll be walking you through the Morley Companies Incorporated organizational improvement recommendations based on organizational behavior theories. Morley Companies Incorporated is a privately owned leader in business process outsourcing, meetings and incentives, and exhibits and displays that is headquartered in Saginaw, Michigan, with satellite offices around the country. One of the things that we look at from organizational behavior is that the study of human behavior in the workplace, of the interaction between people, and of the interaction between those people and the organization itself is organizational behavior. Um, for us to improve our organization, we have to study the human behavior, and there needs to be evidence based upon um, that study to ensure that data is driving our improvements. In order to do that, um, we need to utilize that data um, to demand evidence, to examine logic, to treat organizations as unfinished prototypes, and to embrace attitudes of wisdom, which is outlined by Jeffrey Pfeffer and Robert Sutton from the Stanford School of Business. Um, we will do this by utilizing DISC um, assessments to help our associates understand themselves better, um, to also use assessments to under help associates understand what motivates them better, and then by enhancing organizational effectiveness by shining a spotlight on top performers, and then to refine common sense by um, utilizing scenario exercises to improve it. Another way that we can do this uh, improvement is through understanding who we are and, another, and by tackling perception-based issues. Effectively leading people is a difficult task, and all too often it's made more difficult when leaders don't understand themselves or others around them. So we will utilize a disassessment for everyone so that they can understand why they do the things that they do better with each other. Um, and once we are able to do that, to have everyone take this, we will then be able to battle perception-based issues with some recommendations. We will utilize cultural activities with employees of all levels to be together to get to know one another better. We will, within promotions, we will utilize transparent promotion criteria so under, associates understand what is going on within their company for those promotions. We will utilize focus in project groups by having agents fill out a questionnaire to voluntarily um, include themselves in those groups. And then for per performance evaluations, we will have the agents do self-evaluations, and then also uh, we will publish the KPI uh, measurements that we use to grade employ employees for their yearly evaluation. This will help employees to rid themselves of performance or of perception-based biases. We will also tackle ethics in the workplace. And ethics, since they are an extension of our moralities, we understand that they are that feeling that we have that are beyond the laws that say that's not fair and that's not right. But one of the things that we need to do is ensure that ethics is within every layer of our organization consistently every day. Um, and the Ethics and Compliance Initiative conducts research every year, and in their 2013 survey, they found that 40% of workers witnessed ethical violations. Of those 40% um, uh, that witnessed those violations, only 63% of them actually reported those violations. And of the violations that were witnessed, only 60% or actually 60% involved leadership. So in order to help combat um, these ethical issues within our organization, we will utilize training, um, leadership engagement, and ongoing associate engagement with quarterly assessments to help battle ethical issues within our organization further. And with this, we will help to have ethics in front of our associates on a day-to-day -day basis to help drive that. Corporate social responsibility is a company's responsibility to do more than just provide jobs and dividends to their shareholders. It's to make the community around them better in all forms and, and avenues. In a 2017 survey by the Cone Communication Group, 60% of Americans um, look for corporations to be the instrument of change when governments fail to do so in social and environmental issues. And then of that same study, they found that 76% of people stated that they would not purchase products from a company if their beliefs contradicted their own. So the ways that we can improve corporate social responsibility is by creating a CSR committee of, of different levels of associates, um, and this committee will drive activities and understanding throughout the company of our social corporate responsibility endeavors. We will have the company match funds to be able to ha have um, charity events and other things that the employees engage in and drive to. And then we will have a quarterly newsletter and focus groups to bring ideas open for corporate social responsibility. 
And then we'll incentivize those agents to be a part of that corporate social responsibility by giving them paid time off to be able to work in these, this committee and in these events. And hopefully this will help drive corporate social responsibility within our employees. So creative output within our company is another area we could tackle. And that is one of the most important questions is, is every company asks, how can we be better than our companies? Well, within our organization, one thing that we can do is by, by driving creativity within our company and, and a technology solution that that would be good. Um, one of the areas that we look at improvement for is within the technology sphere for business process outsourcing. Improving software solutions proactively for our, our clients is one way that we could do that by offering video phone solutions. Artificial intelligence could be offered for our clients as well. And then work, working from home for our advisors would be a, another recommendation that we would have. And this is actually one of the top recommendations that we have. And by looking at the breakdown, you can see that for 400 phone agents, by $31 per hour or $21 per hour for those agents, when you break it down into yearly costs for those agents, it is a difference of $8,320,000 for those associates to work at home due to the cost breakdown. This is a creative solution that could actually uh, improve retention and drive costs down. Motivation is also an area that every company can work on and we are no different. Um, but it is one of the most important pieces of our work life, yet it is one of the most fickle. A 2010 survey found that 71% of employees respondents were either not actively engaged or were disengaged from their company. And we will battle that through yearly evaluations by getting the agents more involved in their yearly evaluations. We will do that also through training for, by allowing the agents to train in areas that are not their normal work environment so that they can improve their level of training and for promotions. And then we will also um, drive employee engagement by focus groups and engagement incentives. And then again, through those incentives, we will have for ideas and recommendations that employees provide to us that are implemented, we will have an incentive to help that as well. And then finally, vision, mission, and core values. This area is so important to Morley companies that this is actually the first area that we talk to our, our new hires in and new hire training. Um, we go through and provide handouts to them about our vision, mission, and core values. We have posters throughout our offices and we have additional training for our leaders, but yet we can still improve in this area. Um, we can improve it by actually utilizing more focus groups to drive our vision, mission, and core values to our agents. Um, and we can push feedback in all directions throughout the year by having improved communication channels as well for our employees and by having executive leaders provide blogs in regards to these um, areas within our company and then having the, the employees respond to those blogs, we can incentivize them by having raffles and promoting their ideas on our, our corporate intranet. And then finally, an expansion of training, we can also um, have our agents have additional training that our leaders receive and that way they can be leaders on the floor themselves. In summation, Morley Companies Incorporated is an amazing place to work, but we still have room for improvement. Um, using evidence-based assessments and decision-making combined with sound organizational behavior theories, we will improve our decision-making. We will understand who we are better and reduce perception-based ideas. We will also improve the understanding of ethics and encourage consistent communication surrounding it. We will incorporate corporate social responsibility in every area of our work lives. We will drive creative service improvements. We will help our associates understand what motivates them and provide creative means to improve their motivation. And then we will cement our all important vision, mission, and core values throughout every layer of our organization every day. Thank you very much.